I am under corporate surveillance. Big Brother Roblox is watching me for any sort of actionable defamation. They haven't found any yet, but they're looking very hard. Such behavior would be horrifying to the average person, but to me, I see it as an opportunity. On Roblox, there are many hundreds of thousands of inappropriate assets. To combat this, I have created a completely grassroots reporting system called Moderation for Dummies. These are all of the reports that have been submitted just within the past couple of days. Because I'm under surveillance, if I post a link to these inappropriate assets, someone at Roblox will see it and take it down. We have different categories like users, games, groups, miscellaneous. I have an entire team of people going through them so we can hopefully bring them to the attention of Roblox's trust and safety team. We're doing a community service here. We're all just taking our valuable free time and dedicating it to making Roblox a cleaner and safer place. I just figured for educational purposes, I would go through, open some of these tickets and let you guys know what kind of stuff my team and I have to deal with. This person's username is Wet Shart. Oh my fucking god, you guys have to see this avatar. Gorilla Grip. This reminds me of like a Wiener thumbnail. This is like Nikocado Avocado's body. This looks like the front of a car. Latex dolls. What the fuck? Look at this. I'm looking in this group and in the members list. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. This avatar has boobs Oops. and nipples. Um, chill. Wow. There are a massive amount of people who are trying to have sex role play on Roblox and they dress their avatars up like this to convince children to send nude photos of themselves and then they'll take those nude photos and they'll use them to blackmail the child into sending more. And it just kind of snowballs and escalates until, as was the case with Xbox Diamond Girl, they start doing extremely depraved, traumatizing things. And this man is from Northport. He's in jail tonight. And we've got his mugshot. His name is Patrick Shane Penzak. He's 45 years old. Police say he posed as a young girl online using the screen name or variation of Xbox Diamond Girl. They also say that he targeted this 13-year-old in another state using the messaging apps Discord and Twitch and a gaming platform called Roblox. Police say the man sent the teen electronic gift cards and convinced him to send then one nude picture of himself, then demanded the teen perform increasingly vile and degrading acts in front of a camera, sometimes live streaming it, under the threat that the previous images would be posted. And the whole time, he thought it was a young girl he was talking to. You could spend your whole fucking day for weeks on end clicking on the groups of these profiles and finding more of these accounts. Look, here's another. Again, slipped in the favorites and all the same groups. Look, their inventory is public. Let's see what their uh, classic t-shirts hold. Wow, shaders, more shaders. It's all connected. Snow Bunny, a race play fetch account. This is a man trying to groom children into developing weird BBC fetishes. One of these was actually uncovered. He went by the name Goon Clown. His real name is Orion Grant Passmore. He admitted in Discord messages that have since been leaked that he did this on Roblox. Mr. Postcard posts an even more lurid character, Cow for Black Loads. Orion made several accounts for this purpose. The first was Blox Gooner with the description, just a dumb Roblox Gooner. Look up Gooner captions if you don't know what a gooner is. That was shortly after discussing the possibility with Mana Drain. I love Roblox players. Show them the funnest stuff there is to do. You're basically handing out drugs on a playground. Roblox is full of role-playing games. I was thinking about pretending to be a girl and becoming friends with girls just to tell them about gooning. There are screenshots of Orion in-game telling kids to look up NSFW terms and harassing young girls. Hey, post-production Ruben Sim here. I just wanted to point out that this Mr. Postcard character is believed to be the alter ego of Mob Bucket, aka Andrew Wicker, a notorious Roblox child predator who admitted to sexually assaulting his younger sister, convinced a minor to molest their own sibling, and stated that a child's first sexual experience should be rape because, quote, then they know what they're made for. Andrew was a successful game developer, having been paid many thousands of dollars by Roblox for his games, including the one named Grab the Child. Grab the child, many child to collect. Grab, Grab the child, many child to collect. Grab. It's an awesome game by yours truly. I don't get the unreal child cruelty. Here's Andrew posing at RDC with Roblox's CEO, David Bazuki. After being exposed, Andrew claimed to be leaving the internet to seek professional help 
but in reality, the Cal for Black Loads account has been active as recently as last week. If only someone, anyone with access to his personal information could report him to the police. Oh well, back to the video. Roblox, please, for the love of fucking god, go through these groups because they are everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. If you have children playing this game, there is a good chance that they have encountered one of these. Oh my fucking god. This account is named Blacked Kitty, 14 year old toy. And it's another one of these naked avatars with nipples on it. And they're all in the same BBC race play fetish groups. This, this group is just called Come. It's out in the open. It's plain as day. Any child can go and look at Backshots' profile. Backshots, Snow Bunny, another one. They're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. What's in the store for this group? Look, this group itself is uploading pierced nipples. How does the AI not understand that this is not appropriate? How do they not know that this should not be on Roblox? Our goal is to have 100% accurate moderation for you and we're on a journey to make it happen this starts with amazing machine learning automation so you can get instantaneous and accurate answers on moderation in the rare cases it goes to a human moderator we're improving things there too with improved training for our moderators dual reviews before anything results in a consequence in the rare cases where something does lead to a consequence we're, we're improving our appeals process. I'm finding all of this with zero effort. I'm not even logged in. I'm in an incognito tab. BBC. This person's username is ppube. And they're deleted. They're not even doing this for the money anymore. If the group owner is deleted, they can't withdraw funds from the account. What is this account? Hard bag shots. <laughs> Look at all these avatars. You, you know what happens here? They dress their avatars up like some of the other ones. And it's so inappropriate that Roblox moderation detects that something bad is happening. And they delete the avatar thumbnail, but they leave the profile up. So all this person has to do is change their outfit and they'll get a new avatar thumbnail and they'll be able to continue to groom children. Let's look at the shirts. Wow, how unfortunate. How unfortunate. I agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. This was uploaded by a user who is still active. They joined uh, two years ago and they were last online five hours ago. There is so much stuff here. There is so much stuff here. It would take me forever. It would be never ending for me to go through and try to list out all of the inappropriate assets that you can find just by looking through the users in this group. If Roblox assembled a task force to go through and delete all of these accounts, they could make a serious dent in this issue. 12 year old Maisie, 12 year old Maisie, look at this. How old do you really think this person is? What the fuck? 100 inch bull, snow bunny lover. Oh my god, your local toy. Use me for, you know, them X boy. I can't tell you how many accounts I've seen with this exact same username because Roblox's moderation is too lazy to add this word to the blacklist. It doesn't matter what parental controls you set on the account. Anyone can dress like this and join your child's game. And look at the wall, I just noticed this. Trading, as in trading news. Hit me up for anything, ladies. Hung young man here, ready to own you. Own your friends. If you're interested in a very submissive gal, quote unquote, check my profile. Last online 18 minutes ago. Add me to trade. Big Latino carrot. First, you'll be cutting off your top. Hit me up and we could do anything. What the fuck is this avatar? We can do anything. Yeah. Add me, boys. I'm a fm boy fm boy what is that like fm radio 99.5 the condo add me to trade on disco girls this guy's going to the disco tonight again if you have a child on this platform your little son little johnny little timmy is going to be looking in these groups and seeing perk 30 up saying add to give me beat job the word beat job is not filtered on Roblox. Roblox is not caught up with the lingo that kids are using these days. This one's like a TV commercial. Tired of looking for people to roleplay, chat, or play games with? We all join our group. There you can find people who want to do the same. And the group is called Just a Chill Group that has nothing to do, LOL. This is place 
we try to promise to send con links as much as possible. As our admin and owner, we'll keep an eye on our family. We see everyone as family once they join. Wow, very tight-knit community here. We hope that you'll be satisfied. This person is probably from some uh, third world country, hardly speaks any English, probably somewhere in Eastern Europe looking for children to traffic. Keep in mind, I have only opened the first report on this entire system. One single ticket has uncovered all of this. All of these sexual advertisements, all of these avatars, all of these bypassed clothing items from one single report. There are a lot of people at this company who are not doing their job. There are a lot of people who are taking a paycheck, who are taking your money and doing fuck all with it. Because this stuff is so common. If every single parent of every child on Roblox knew about this, Roblox would cease to exist as a company. Because no parent would spend money for their child to play online in an environment full of stuff like this. Look at this. Look at these fucking looking to own someone. Add to get stuffed and filled in Studio Con. Friend me to trade. I got a big white mark. Or orgas organums donor. I'm broke and lack the food to feed my family. This uh, child, actually, it's probably an adult. Let's be honest, there are no children in these groups. Looking for new cows. Uh -huh. I need someone to fill up. Someone to use as my little dub. I love the username here, Dommy Mommy 540 One report. We're still on that one report. I haven't even looked at the other stuff. Okay, if you work for Roblox, if you're a member of Roblox's legal team and you're watching this video as part of your routine surveillance on me, you are complicit. If you are taking a paycheck from this company and you are not doing absolutely everything in your power to bring this to the attention of trust and safety, you are complicit in all of this. I am placing the responsibility on you if you are a Roblox employee and you are not dropping everything right now and furiously typing out an email to Bob Pirin, manager of moderation, manager of trust and safety. Hey, please look at this video. Please, you need to see this urgent. I don't know how you sleep at night knowing that this is what your company is facilitating. And you know what? The fact that this stuff is so persistent tells me that it works and that the people posting these uh, advertisements in these groups are actually finding children. Oh my God. Okay.